Hello everyone. Uh, so this time, uh, this Square Engine, I will show you how to do a monthly composite uh, from one year. You know. So we'll create a composite from each month, uh, from one uh, represent day to the last day of the month. So I'm using uh, Sentinel to harmonize uh, data because Sentinel two have a frequency of visiting of five days. So we'll get about maybe five or four image uh, in a month. So it's gonna give us a more chance to get a cloudless image, you know, clear image. Although in January, in December, it will still, you know, having a lot of uh, is mask because it's full of clouds at the time of the, of the month. So yeah, I'm using this area, uh, Gili Lawang, uh, it's a in a Lombok area. Well, I choose this area because, you know, in island, usually it have a few, uh, fewer clouds than in mainland, especially in the mountain or in the forest. So by uh, mapping in the this area, uh, island area, we have will have more area with fewer clouds, but still, you still have clouds though. <laughs> Okay, I'm using year 2022, so for the whole years, and this is the parameter I use. So I put the names so that I'm easy to make a name of each the years, and then I put n. N is the last day of the month, so every month has the last different in uh, different day, right? So for January 2021 and February 28, and etc. And it's called masking. Uh, this is my common called masking. If you ever see my video about Sentinel, uh, you will know this function very well. And this is what we do. So you select SCL band. SCL band is the, you know, the band here. Uh, it shows the same classification on which you can get the information of cloud shadows and clouds probability. You, you can use this uh, to match the area. Then for that, I will create a mask. Then I will select the important bands, you know, on the multispectral one from band one to band uh, 12. Then I update the mass of the image so that you know, it contain uh, that where there is no clouds. Then I will uh, do a loop. Uh, so for each month of this place, I will do a loop on which I will generate a cloud image composite. You know? So this is the name of the, the image. So it makes it easier when we show the image, then this is the start and date. So you know from the first of the day of the month to the last day of the month is our filter. Then this is this collection that we use, and also we filter by area, you know, filter bounds, filter by date. Apply the cloud masking, uh, do median composite, uh, median reducers. Then we clip to the uh, our area, which is this uh, geometry. Then for that, uh, we convert to, to Win16 so that when you export the data, the, the, the storage file will be smaller, you know, make it easier. Then I will show you the image you know, to show. Then after that, you can export of each of the image. Oh, let's try to run it one last time. Go to the results. When you run it, it's already year and month information. For example, you see January will be full of the last area is mass because it's just a lot of clouds in January. Because Indonesia will be like rainy season. So rainy season means more clouds. Then maybe in, in June, you get a full like a full image, you know, very clear image, which is good. <laughs> and I think you have will get the same too in July. So if mostly the area is quite good, and also you have fewer sun gleam, you know, because in Peru, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of white stuff, you know, the reflection of the sun, you know, which is quite bad, and there's also a lot of sun gleam. You know. <laughs> so yeah, uh, every year will every month will be different. You know, December and January will be full of clouds like this one, <laughs> so many clouds, and January is close, and even March you don't get anything in March because it's all mass. Yeah, so sad. So after this, uh, I. In the script also, we can export it to the drive eh? the folder, then this thing, the, we can just run it one by one or using the uh, this plugin to run all of it at once, you know, where's this plugin? Oh, yeah, open our extension. This can help you to export it, uh, all of them directly, you know, like this, you can run all, you can run all the ex export one. So I guess that's it, uh, how to make a monthly composite in one script. So it's very short script, only 64 lines, instead of your, instead of your have to make a script for each of the year, which is long. Okay, like I said, it's for our uh, today session. Thank you for this and hope this helped your research. Thank you, bye.